the problem is uh, the society is a big uh, infectious system, you know. One tell the others, and if you don't have strong enough moral standard, then you sway. Yeah, I give sway, and one day you lean to them a little bit, little bit, and then one day you go with them. Huh? And that's what the king of Maya won. He spread all this wrong conception. Yeah? He used his um, subordinate to come up to this world to try to sway people like that. One day you don't sway, next day you sway, next day you sway, and then you're dumb, you're finished. That's why you have to keep your moral standard strong, like protect your own life. Otherwise, it's easy to, you know, to be tempted and do wrong. You see, sometimes the subordinate of the devil comes into this world. He uh, looks like us. I told you already that the astral beings can manifest themselves as human beings for a certain time on earth. And during that certain time, one week, two weeks, one month, two months, he tried to influence people, the one with the weak moral standard. You see what I mean? If you are a hundred percent, then he cannot do anything. He tried, he tried, and he fell, he knows it. Or he just leave you alone, yeah? But if he see you maybe only 60%, 50% morally correct, then he try to shake you up. If you are 100% morally correct, he cannot corrupt you, he know, he leave you alone. He just go to those a little bit weak. And maybe you have 60% today, and he keep tempting you, and then you lose, and you have only 50%. And next day you have 40%, and next week he come back again, you have 30%, and slowly you lose. Do you understand me? So you have to know where you're going. You have to know what is good and keep to it. Even if you lose your life, you keep it. Because losing this life is nothing compared to what you lose afterward if you lost your moral standard. The people of this city, after they die by drowning, that's nothing yet. Drowning to die is nothing. It's hell, terrible hell waiting for them, more punishment. You know, they've been haunting them for, for hundreds of years or thousands of years. That's more scary. To be drowned in water, to die, that, that, that's not much yet. You understand me? To lose a physical body is not the, the, the worst thing that you can lose. If you lose the freedom of your soul, that's the worst thing. Because if we practice like Kwan Yin Method and we keep to the inside the fence of this moral standard, okay, then... Even if you die, your soul is free. You don't have to come back to this similar body and suffer again. Or you don't have to go to the astral body, which is similar to this body, but that body will be burned in hell and, and be tortured with all different kind of, of, of terrifying you know, punishment. It's uh, painful. Just like here in this world, if somebody stab you with a knife in your physical body, then you feel very, very painful. You understand? Imagine, in the astral body, you feel the same like that, but your body won't die. And it keeps stabbing and pain forever like that. You know, not one time, two times, but keep burning either forever, or stabbing forever, or do all kind of cutting forever like that. Can you imagine? Here, they cut you one time, two times, maybe, and then you bleed to death. You finish, yeah? And then you don't suffer no more. But in the astral body, you don't die. And you feel the same pain like in the physical body. Do you understand? That is the difference. And that's what many people don't understand. They don't know it. They think, okay, well, I don't see any punishment now. I don't see any consequence. I continue to do bad thing or killing. I don't care. Who can tell me what? They don't know what's waiting. See? It's not losing the physical body that you should be worried is losing the freedom of the soul. See, if we die in this physical body, our soul free because you are morally correct and you are in the higher level, yeah? Okay? No devil can have any excuse to come and tell you that, mm, you made this trouble, I can take you, because you are not correct. You see what I mean? No excuse for him. So your soul is free. You go to third level, fourth level, you come back for wherever you want. But if you fall into the astral body and case in it and fall into hell, wow, terrible torturing.
forever, for a long time. And the body don't die, that's a problem. You cannot be free from it. So the soul be engaged in that and suffer, suffer consciously. Do you understand me? But that's what the devil wants, like to tempt people so that we stay here forever, so that he can control us all the time. You know what I mean? Because if we are gone, we live alone, no? lonely, no? And nobody to, to tempt, nobody to seduce, and nobody to make trouble, no theater for him to watch, yeah? Because if we listen to him, then the whole theater come up. For example, you two sit together nicely, huh? And maybe one of you are highly standard, the other are not. And the devil come to the, the weaker one and talk something, make her fight with this one. <laughs> and then they're both fighting together, and this one get wounded, and this one lose some spiritual merit, and he's happy. Oh, I like that. You see what I mean? Otherwise, there's nobody who play, play theater for him. Imagine the king of, of, of devil just sit there alone, nobody to harass, nobody to tempt, nobody to control. Can you imagine? Hmm? Yeah? That's why he make trouble. So that the theater keep going on, and then he, he likes that. So if we are clever, we keep to our standard, okay? We have to, because that's our salvation in this world. Once you are in the third level, at least you're free, yeah? You do what you want. But over there you will never do anything wrong, because no temptation. Everything just correct and good. You see what I mean? So wait until you go up there, then you can do what you want, okay? Right now, keep strict yeah? standard of living. Even if I'm not there, even nobody look at you, even nobody know what you're doing, you must keep to your standard of moral, okay? Yes. First, self-respect. Yes. Second, freedom of the soul. Third, benefit everybody else, okay? Including yourself. All right.